B2B companies have always provided service for customers, but in recent years they have shifted their strategic focus to revenues from services and solutions as a new revenue source. This trend has been described as servitization, service infusion, or service business model innovation. Servitization implies a culture shift away from looking at service as a necessary evil, as a must-have, or an after-sales activity. On the contrary, customer-focused companies that focus on servitization as a strategy look at services with a capital S as a revenue and profit source in its own right. Why is servitization accelerating today? Think of three main reasons. First, customers are actively asking for it. They have learned over time that they can and should be more demanding on their suppliers and ask them to show them the money and services are a way to do it. Second, servitization is growing because competition is relying on servitization. Competitors have understood that they can differentiate from competition and ask for higher margins and better prices through services. And third, with the digitization of industries and the availability of data and analytics, more and more new services, new service business models have become available to suppliers in the market. Servitization provides a number of important benefits to suppliers. First, through servitization, they get closer to customers, become more customer-centric, and get a deeper customer intimacy. Second, they can change the conversation with customers and now talk about value, not volume, and prices. Because of this, third, they can now sell not only more of their own products, but also increase the scope and sell additional services and customer solutions. Fourth, customer satisfaction and loyalty go up because customers derive greater value from the products and services they obtain, and suppliers improve their own assets invested in working with customers. In sum, Servitization provides not only more, but also more stable revenue streams. Once a company grows deeper into servitization, it must take a step back and ask, do we master the key factors of success needed? For example, when segmenting for services and solutions, the company needs very different skills than when segmenting for products and components. The challenge then becomes to know whether we are fit for service. Do we have the right resources, capabilities and skills to grow deeper into the service space? For example, if a company wants to sell data-enabled services, um, it needs to ask, do we have the competencies and skills needed? Uh, do we own the data? Uh, do we know how to package the data-enabled service? Do we know how to quantify and document the value we provide to customers? And do we know how to sell data-enabled services so that we can monetize these new services? In short, a company needs to understand the strengths and weaknesses on this path. To do so, in our new book, Service Strategy in Action, we help managers to audit their strengths and weaknesses for servitization. We also define a roadmap of 12 critical steps that executives need to know to understand their own journey in the servitization process. I hope that you will find our book both interesting and helpful in your own transformation path.